everyone, today's look is going to be a really fun but dark blue smoky eye um, with just a pretty light pink lip and I came up with this on Friday. Um, I went to kind of this like, it was kind of semi-formal but it was like a dinner and a talent show that some of my friends were performing in. So I went to that and I really wanted to do a dark blue smoky eye and I got a lot of different compliments on it so I thought that I would show you guys how I did it especially since I don't really have many blue looks I think I maybe have like two I don't really know I don't have that many so I thought that I would show you guys how I did this so if you want to see um, keep watching so I already primed my eye with L'Oreal Decrease and I'm going to take a black pencil and I would use my NYX journal pencil and black bean but I have misplaced that at the moment it's probably in some random bag but Anyway, so I'm just going to take this black pencil and I'm going to put this all over the lid. And when you do this, don't go above the crease and kind of make a little bit of a cat eye. So I'm going to take an e.l.f. pencil, and I'm sorry, this is an e.l.f., um, Kirkland pencil brush. And I'm going to start smudging this into the crease and then I'm going to use it to kind of create a cat eye. Okay, then for the first shadow, I'm going to take my Maybelline eyeshadow single and silver lining, which is kind of a sparkly um, silver. And I'm actually going to use an applicator simply because I find whenever I'm working with really shimmery shadows, it helps to use an applicator to pack stuff on. Um, sometimes whenever I use a brush, I get a lot of fallout. So even though people make fun of the applicators, they do have their uses. So anyways, I'm just going to get some of that and I'm going to put it over half of my eye. So just like that. And then I'm going to take my L'Oreal Hip Duo in Showy and take this royal blue here on a Sunny Kashuk large brush and I'm going to pat this right in the center of the lid on top of that silver. Okay, and then next I'm going to take an Essence of Beauty eyeshadow brush and my Ulta Color in Sapphire, which is a very dark blue. And get some of that shadow on there. And I'm going to put it over the outer half of the eye on top of where we put the uh, black uh, eyeliner. So just right on top of that. So as you can see, the Making the cat eye with the pencil kind of made the perfect outline, so now all you have to do is pat the dark blue shadow on top. Okay, then I'm going to start blending that out, and I'm going to use a uh, Sydney Kashuk blending brush. And sometimes whenever I'm blending a really, really dark shadow, and I want to keep the color fairly low, I'll take um, a lighter version of the same color that's on the outer crease. So in this case, I'm going to use a really light blue and use that to kind of pat that on top and gently blend out that line. Okay, and now I'm going to take my highlight brush and highlight color and I just use a plain simple white, something real fancy. And I'm going to take that along the brow bone. Okay, now I'm going to start on the lower lash line. And first what I'm going to do is take a Kirkland um, eyeliner brush and the same Ulta Color Sapphire. And I'm just going to brush that really close to the lash line, just about halfway to three-fourths of the way along the lash line. And then I'm going to take my black pencil and I'm going to put that over half of the waterline, just half. And then I'm going to take my e.l.f. Small Smudge brush and I'm going to pull that black down from the waterline and blend it in with the dark blue. Okay, and then if you need to reapply the silver, go ahead and feel free to do that, just kind of on the inner corner. Okay, and then the last thing I'm going to do for shadow is take another Sunny Kashuk blending brush and get some water, spray it on there. And now I'm going to take my MAC Pigment Sample in Cornflower, which is one of my favorites. This is so gorgeous. It is a um, royal blue with a lot of purple reflex. It is really, really gorgeous. And I'm going to dip my blending brush into the pigment. And 
And I'm just going to pat this just kind of right here in the center of the lid. Okay, and then for eyeliner, I'm going to take my All May Black Liquid Liner and draw a thin line along the top lash line. Okay, then last thing I'm going to do is take a white pencil and put this on the inner corner and then over the rest of the lash line, kind of where you stopped with that um, blue color. Take it until you meet the blue. And then I'm going to take my highlight color and I'm going to pat it on top. Okay, now I'm going to go apply mascara and I will be right back. Alright, and for lips, I really wanted a really glossy but really, really light pink lip. So I'm going to use my NYX Gemma, Pen Gemma Pencil, my NYX Lipstick in um, Harmonica. And then on top of it, I wanted to make it just slightly more pink, but I didn't really want to change the color of the lipstick too much, so I'm going to use my Hip uh, Jelly Balm in Plush. And I'm just going to get a little on my middle finger and dab it on top. Alright you guys, and that's it for this look. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!